Hi everyone and welcome to another Sunday car boot haul. Uh, today was the first week of the big car boots that I sometimes go to. Um, I'm going to try and go every few weeks to it because it is half an hour drive away but it's the first week that one was on on their bigger fields. There was a lot of sellers there. It was a really big car boot. Unfortunately there was a lot of traders there. I'd say two thirds of them were traders. The other third were families uh, clearing out, which are the usual people I buy off. I think a combination of Mother's Day and the misty damp weather may have affected things today for families, maybe, I don't know. But I still managed to pick up a few bits. Um, I spent £25 in total. So I'll just show you now what I picked up and a few stories of what happened this morning. So briefly, this is what I've picked up and I'll go through it now for you. So this morning was really misty and quite damp, so I had to be quite careful of what I picked up because quite a lot of stuff was water damaged. Um, there was like condensation all over it, which is really unfortunate. But I might still manage to find some stuff, but some things I had to not buy because of the condition of it. So we'll start off with these DVDs. They're from the same seller. There's three of them and they were £1 each. This one is The Muppet Show. Uh, season 1, is it? I don't know. Yeah, series one. Um, I know it's on Disney Plus, but I don't know if all the episodes are on there. I think some of them have been cut or um, are missing um, for various reasons. So I don't know whether that will help that sell. Um, that sells around the eight to ten pounds mark with postage. Next series called Pillars of the Earth with Ian McShane in it. Um, I haven't seen this. I think I've heard of it though. Um, again, a pound. It doesn't sell for much, about three ninety nine. probably get for that. Next, I saw this. I thought it might be better than it was. Um, it's called Pen Marrick, 30th Anniversary Edition. It looks like it's a BBC thing. I don't think I've heard of it. It stuck out to me because it's one of these Acorn DVDs. I've mentioned them before, if you ever see Acorn stuff, these were quite expensive to buy in the first place. So if I do see them, I do pick them up just in case they're worth something. It was only a pound, um, again, maybe four ninety nine, five ninety nine at the most. I thought it might be worth more than that, but never mind. Next, just an Enya CD. I've said before, I pick up Enya when I can because I love Enya. <laughs> uh, so if it's in good condition, I pick it up. This was 50p, so I couldn't leave that there. Next, some Blu-rays. Uh, lady had uh, trays of Blu-rays. Um, she said they were a pound each or six for five pounds. I couldn't find six I wanted, so I ended up buying just three. The three Lord of the Rings ones. So I'll be able to uh, sell them for around the eight ninety nine mark. Um, they were three pounds. Next, there was a couple selling off quite a lot of music DVDs. There seem to be mixed in with CDs and stuff. So these were a pound each, or three for two pounds. So I picked up six, so four pounds altogether. Um, some music DVDs I know are worth money, so that's why I stuck to the music ones. We have Beyonce, Live at Wembley, Janet Jackson, The Velvet Rope Tour, Gloria Estefan, Evolution Tour Live, Ultimate Kylie, Cher, Live in Concert. That's an old DVD, that is. And again, another Kylie one, Kylie Showgirl. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to get on this. I haven't looked up if there's any rare ones there yet. I hope there are, <laughs> but we'll see. Next, there was a guy selling lots of figures. Um, again, a trader. Um, so the only ones Doctor Who wise I could find were these two. I saw this one first of all, I didn't buy it straight away, I went back later and I felt sorry for it so I picked it up. It was a pound which is more than it's worth because its condition is beaten up. It's a crash set 11th hour Matt Smith 11th Doctor, Raggedy Doctor. Really bashed up condition. 
I don't know how much I can get for him. I'm going to have to clean him up. And I'll probably just chuck him in an auction, start at 99p and see if he sells. I don't know if he will in that condition. But we'll try. And then next we have this figure. It's a 10th Doctor figure. Um, it was lying on the table. Out There was like bagged up ones for £2 and then this was just loose on the table. So I asked him how much it was and he said £1.50. It doesn't look in too bad condition. It doesn't have the um, helmet, but the this version is more harder to find than the um, orange spacesuit doctor that I picked up a couple of weeks ago. And I have sold the orange suit doctor for seven ninety nine. I think it was. I don't know how much I can get for this one. Probably about the same price, but we'll see. But yeah, really happy to find Doctor Who figures at the car boot sale. Uh, next, more Doctor Who items. There were these three books. These were covered in condensation, so I was a little worried. I think they survived though. They don't look too damaged or anything. Um, I don't know why I picked these up. They're not really worth anything, but I do like these books. I've read most of them. And I have got some of these lying in a bag somewhere, so perfect for bundling up. Um, I don't think I'll be selling them separate, but we'll see. So we have Sting of the Zygons. That's a really good book. Uh, Feast of the Drowned. I don't know if I've read that one. I can't remember. And then we have The Stone Rose. I don't think I've read that one either. I've read most of the Billy Piper Ninth Doctor ones. Rose Tyler and Ninth Doctor. Um, but yeah. The Stone Rose. So yeah, these were, I did pay up as well for these. I didn't really want to pay this, but once I had them in my hands, I couldn't really put them down. Uh, they were a pound each, so three pounds for those. I do want to tell you a little story of a stall that was there this morning because it had stuff on there that I was really interested in. There was a stall this morning selling trading cards, mostly customizable card game cards, which are like ones I collect, like Star Wars CCG, Star Trek CCG. They even had Doctor Who CCG from the 90s, which I've never seen them at a car boot sale before. It really broke my heart because they were just shoved in a box, all mixed up together practically, and I didn't even want to ask how much they were because most of them were in poor condition. There was obviously the damp air as well this morning, it didn't help. Um, so it was really heartbreaking to see the condition they were in. There wasn't really any rare ones, I did flick through them. The only rare one I found was a Doctor Who one, which was Harry Sullivan, but he was had like marks on him. So all the rest were really basic common and uncommons. The Star Wars, again, commons and uncommons. There were a little path from a later set, some of the episode one, uh, cards. I can't remember which set it was from, but again, just commons and uncommons, and they weren't mint. So I didn't, I didn't even have the heart to ask how much they were because I would have probably not brought them anyway. Even if I had bought them, they would just be, well, they wouldn't be worth anything because the, the condition they're in, unfortunately. So that really broke my heart to see. That. <laughs> but anyway, onto the rest of the haul, which is all plush. Uh, so we start off with this, it's Build-A-Bear, Smurf, I didn't even know they did Smurfs, Build-A-Bear. Uh, this was a pound, I've looked it up, it's worth about 9 99 so not brilliant, but it wasn't too bad I suppose. Next, a couple of dogs, these are from the same stall, they were a pound each, they're older design Build-A-Bear dogs. Again, not worth a lot of money, 9 99 each of the most. Next, there was a lady selling um, this La La Loopsie doll. I have picked these up before. This was a soft bodied one, which I haven't had before. She wanted £2 for it. I didn't really want to pay £2. I did offer one fifty, but she said no. Um, so in the end, I did pay the £2 for it. I've tried looking it up. I haven't found this exact one, but I'll start it, um, buy it now for about fourteen ninety nine, like my other La La Loopsie dolls. Then we have some more plush. Um, the first thing I bought this morning was this one, a Rainbow Dash Build-A-Bear from My Little Pony. It was two pounds. I don't think there's sounds in them. I haven't checked any of them. 
Uh, no. So this was two pounds. Um, it sells well. I've, it varies between ten and fifteen. I'll probably start at fourteen ninety nine. Same with Twilight Sparkle. Not as sought after as Rainbow Dash. I don't think this one's a little lower. I will start it at fourteen ninety nine, but I don't think I'll get that for it. It will probably go around the ten pound to twelve pound mark. And then finally, we have this. It's a Disney Princess. Bear. I can't really find much on this one. It's limited edition from what I can see. Uh, and it's more of an American bear than a, a UK bear, but I'll try it at 14 99 I think, and see where we go from there. I can always start it high and then bring the price down. So yeah, not a big haul, but I'm pretty happy with what I picked up this morning um, for the early season of the car boots. I'm really happy about Dot 2 figures. I love Dot 2 figures. Actually there was a stall with another one on. It was a Mox of Balhoon which is like lowest of the low Doctor Who figure and they wanted £2 for it and I was like no I'm paying £2 for that. It's not worth it. It wouldn't even sell for that I don't think. So yeah. So yeah, not a bad week, um, not a brilliant week either, sort of average. <laughs> uh, so as I said, I spent £25. Just from the like Builder Bears and stuff, I'll probably get about you know, £50, £60. Pounds. So that more than pays for what, all the rest of it. So what I'm going to try and do from now on is when I do a car boot um, on a Sunday, I'm going to try and f at least photograph everything that I pick up. Um, the majority of it anyway, just so I can get it processed quicker and not just put it in the stock room and let it sit there for months on end because I've still got stuff in there from last year that I haven't touched yet. Mostly board games. I'm trying to stick away from board games at the moment because I've got so many to, that I need to list already. But yeah, that's how I'm getting on. Um, there will be a sales video um, for the month of March. The uh, 1st of April is on Friday. So look out for a live stream maybe Friday or Saturday this week and I will go through the best sales of the month for March. So thanks for watching everyone. Please subscribe to my channel, see my future videos and I'll see you all soon. Take care, bye.